Now listen up. You millennials out there, real talk. Seriously. Studies show that us millennials are having way less sex than previous generations, but studies are also showing that sexually transmitted diseases are skyrocketing. Yes. How can we make sense of that, girls? Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Yeah, I mean, I have an STD, and I got it when I was not sexually promiscuous. So how did that happen? Um, not knowing really what STDs were from and how they get contracted and the details of them. I mean, the education obviously has changed throughout the years, and we talk about that. But personally, you know, you think about all of these kind of knowledge known STDs, and you think that if you wear a condom or if you have birth control, you don't get pregnant. If you wear a condom, you don't get an STD, and then you're all okay and you're clear. But that's just not what the education is. And coincidentally, I was diagnosed with herpes, um, oral my husband mm. years after I was sexually promiscuous mm -hmm. and it was mainly because we didn't know that the cold sore HSV1 could technically be misdirected to genitals, genitals mm -hmm. and not be HSV2 but still remain H HSV1. Type one. Right. It's very confusing there's so much science and there's so, so many much. different diseases. And one more thing it, that type 1 can mm -hmm. be passed with no symptoms. Correct. You can so be a it carrier. Can, it could be a carrier so if you even if he doesn't have that cold mm -hmm. sore, he can still transmit it. Correct. That's mm -hmm. actually what happened. There you because go. Because my husband never mm. actually Look, broke out. So last year, there was a 314% rise in syphilis, mm -hmm. a 48% rise in gonorrhea. Everybody between ages 15 and 24, we passed that test, girls. <laughs> We're so old. We're over that. We're so old. Um, but, you know, people are saying that the reason is kind of a mystery, but the speculation is that, you know, when... HIV happened in the you know, 80s and 90s. Everybody was talking about it. There were so many campaigns about mm -hmm. condoms. But now, ever since uh, 2013, the day after pill became over the counter, all millennials are like, oh, you know what, I don't need to use a condom I because don't need to use condoms. it's the morning after pill. Mm -hmm. But it's so, yeah. oh, getting pregnant is the worst thing that can happen, right? Yeah. But guess what? It is not the worst thing that well, can happen. I think I think that's the thing. If you're willing to be impregnated by somebody, right, you should be willing to get a disease from them as well. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, man. okay. So two things. One, one, the reason why I think millennials, going back to the original question, are having less sex is because of social isolation. We spend more time at home in front of a computer. We spend more time at home and watching Netflix and all this other stuff. So social isolation. We don't oh, have yeah. as much as much interaction to human to human. Virtual relations are great. Yeah, virtual. <laughs> yeah. Right, but you're not. Yeah, having, you can't get virtual it. sex. You don't get STD. Exactly. Hold that's on, what I that. do all Hold that afternoon. So that's okay. what I think. Why I think people having less sex. Part part of it. The rising STDs is another reason that I think goes to education. One 100. of the things that you said is in this country, there's a major push for abstinence only education, which means that you should not be having sex at all. Instead of, instead of teaching our kids that you should wear a condom, you should do this. When I went to school, they showed us everything and it scared the bejesus out of me and I didn't have sex forever. <laughs> but yeah, it's I, think, I think education plays a factor into it. I think another thing, like you said, like the morning after people being readily available, which I think it's a good thing. Um, but education, social isolation, and people are just reckless, bro. People are just reckless. Let's call it what they it is. They are hook reckless. Up, hook up. But this is a hookup culture. Keep in, keep in mind that education does not necessarily mean that it is the stuff that we were being taught or no, what our aunts or mm -hmm. elders know. It's us like what um, Olympia was saying. How does your mind work? How does your brain work? What do you go out and do and really assess why are you... Having yeah. intercourse. Yeah. What yeah. do you want from this intercourse? So we gotta, we gotta wrap up the show, no pun intended. <laughs> so yes, we're wrapping it up, and you guys, everybody, wrap it up too. Wrap it up, please. Wrap it up. Please.